Hey besties, welcome to First Awesome's headquarters. If you're new here, you know, you probably saw this video like under suggested because you really want to understand and grasp how to get the or so sit back, relax, and we're gonna dive right into this video because a lot of people actually have been communicating with me about their struggles that they've been having actually in regards to the expansion packs, and I am actually here to clear any confusion, okay? So we're going to go through it step by step, pause in between, I'm going to explain in depth how to get it, we can get these packs in less than 10 minutes, okay? So without further ado, let's go into this video. So usually, you'd have to do something like this, and mind you, this works for both Mac and Windows devices, usually you'd have to go to this website, but a lot of people have been telling me that they've been having problems with this, so... I stopped that step. So if you're on Windows, you would get this, the EA DLC Unlocker. It takes you to a website like this. You can click this for Mac too, but if you are on Windows, you get, always go to Pixel Drain. I like Pixel Drain. Or if you're on Mac, you get the Origin DLC Unlocker. Get it? Get it? Get it? Okay, so right now we're doing for Windows devices. So since I already have it downloaded, I'm not going to download it again. I'm just going to go to my documents folder and then I'm going to type in the EADLC unlocker and it's version 2. Look for that. It's going to look something like this. It's a WIN zip file. WinZip, WinRAR, whatever you want to call it. Make sure that you have WinRAR or WinZip installed before extracting or doing anything. WinRAR looks like this. You just click here, go to WinRAR archiver and then you look for whichever one it is. I'm also going to link that in the description because I mean why not? You just click download, go here like that it'll uh, I'll link it for y'all so you don't you know what I mean so after this downloaded go here you would right click you would well first click right click go down to WinRAR and then go to extract files that's it and then it'll extract it you know what I mean and then you're good so then it's going to pop up like a folder just like this And then you're going to click setup. Now, since it's already installed, you know, you're kind of good, you know what I mean? So I am going to just act like I'm, it's not installed, so I'm just going to press one, install. Then it's going to show me this. I'm going to say yes. Then I'm going to press two, then enter. And then I'm going to look for the Sims 4, which is 16, enter. And then Q, quit. Just like that, you're done. The next step, you're going to go over to my Patreon, and you are going to get your expansion packs. So I don't think I have Decor to the Max, so I'm going to click that, and I'm going to download it, just so y'all can see that it works, so hopefully you guys are following along. Also, if you are on Mac, the unlocker works the exact same way, but you have to go some something that says Fix Origin Client Command or Add fake entitlements command you can check out my last tutorial where i showed y'all there how to do it on mac so that's easy for y'all then you click this to click the max and then what you're going to do next is on windows c drive or whatever drive you have you right click and then open a new window so you have two windows now go here i right click on decor to the max then i go to winrar extract files then i press ok and then it's going to turn to a folder like that okay pay attention then I'm going to go to my program files. Then I'm going to go to EA Games from The Sims 4. And then all of my packs are right here, the ones that I have installed. I'm going to drag just the SP31 folder, not the installer folder, because why? The installer folder is already there. Then I'm going to drag this, move to The Sims 4. Make sure it doesn't say move to EPO2 or any of the packs. Move to The Sims 4. Then it's going to ask administrator information. You're the administrator, of course. Press continue. Just like that, you're good. Now, final step. This is works the same thing for it's the same thing for EA and Origin. Make sure you go offline. You have to go offline and it's going to give you this notification. You just have to go offline. So I'm going to like, you know, just type in my stuff. Anyways, I'm going to sign in. I don't know why, but for some reason EA makes you they log you out all the time. But anyways, I'm going to click I'm going to do this. I'm going to click the three dots, the three lines, and then I'm going to click go offline. 
Yes, I'm sure. Don't ask me why you have to go offline. You just have to go offline. Hear me when I say you need to go offline or else the packs will not work. Um, I'm going to also attach additional steps for Mac users because a lot of people have been complaining that, oh, it's not working on my Mac. Why do you think I'm on a PC? It's overly complicated for no reason. And I'm getting so sick and tired of it. So I was like, <laughs> PC. So we're going to wait for her to load. I don't want to do any jump cuts so you guys can see that this is real. It works. Okay. Just leave a like, you know. I'm also thinking to if I should leave the comments of this video on or if I should just leave my email so you guys can email me if you need any help, you know, or you can DM me on Patreon. Yeah, I'm going to leave my Patreon in the uh, description below so y'all can email me if you have any questions. And as we can see, the core to the max is here. So if you want more videos like this in the future and you need more help, you let me know in the comments below. You can also check out my Patreon down there. You can message me, get your facts, all that stuff. With that said, I love you guys so much. See you in the next video, and bye.